Woo! I can actually do it now, which is a great thing. I've actually got a voice back. So, good evening. Welcome back to part two. It's great to have you with us tonight. So, one of our viewers this evening asked a question. What muck products do you have in stock? So let's just have a quick fly over here. So starting with all of the wax products we've got, we can see it goes from strong through to the more weaker one, which is the, uh, the rough muck. We've got the wet, slip look muck. We've got dry muck, filthy muck, Anthony Collie's favorite, which we're using tonight. Then again, we're on to raw muck, which is in between. We then go through to the shampoo, which is a gentleman shampoo, hard muck shampoo. Then we've got the speciality shampoos, which are dandruff control. We've got dry scalp. We've got a really popular one here, which we used on Lucy's hair, which is the blonde shampoo and one minute blonde toning treatment, which again is a blue shampoo, which turns anybody's hair that's blue or gray, freshens it up. We come through now to repair shampoo and conditioner, which again, which is anybody who's got dry damaged hair. We've got color lock shampoo and conditioner. We also have, um, that's great of course, if you want to lock that color in and really keep it looking pristine for that period of time over six weeks to 12. We've got ultra soft shampoo and conditioner. We've also got a leave-in conditioner spray with that same mechanism. We've also got a one minute ultra soft treatment, which works nice. Uh, one of my personal favourites, the volumising shampoo, which uh, Mrs Bailey uses a lot with her curly hair, which is the shampoo and conditioner. We've also got the spray, which I use a lot. This is great when you put this spray on. It comes out, it's actually got bubbles on it, which you generally tend to see. My favourite I'm using tonight, which of course is the Fat Muck Blowout Mousse, which contains conditioner. And then of course we've got the Hot Muck Thermal Protector. Okay, so up on the top row, let's go up on the top. We've got... The, the style stick which we'll be using very shortly which of course comes with the argan oil which I know a lot of people have asked for that product which we're going to order tomorrow which I know we've got six people that want that and then of course we've got the curl stick over here which comes with the glove and the products which of course allows you to back on mate curl the hair Hi. Yeah. which allows us to curl the hair and make it all look quite nice and natural looking so it's really like a curl wonder curl stick which again allows you to change the barrel three times which i think is a great idea mark i will salute you on that and i think the style stick is superb from going to the nec it was a superb tool to use which we'll be using that in a moment on ant collie's hair that's basically our range that we have tonight feel free to contact us at the salon if you wish to purchase it, or a local muck specialist close to you. But in the meantime, let's go back to Aunt Collie's hair and see where we're at. Yeah! One's on it quick, to get the plug. So, welcome back. I know Josh Brown will be killing himself. That's what seems to me that noise you make to the camera, Scott. The good thing is, Josh, you can actually make that noise tonight. So, um, we're gonna be using now the Muck Style Stick on Ant Collie's hair. So the idea with this is that we're gonna be using this with the uh, ions that are in there. You can see <coughs> the red lights, which takes away the negative charge in the hair and puts a positive charge in there. Basically, how yeah, the static is negative, this then puts um, a positive, which then sorts the problem out. So we're going to just run this through Ant's hair up the front and just make it so it's got a nice fold through on there. And then what we'll do is we'll then do the finale afterwards. So just nicely place that on. Remember we've got the product on which protects the hair. We've already blow dried the hair with filthy muck. We've not put anything else into the hair. Only literally that. This blow dry is literally as it was before we disappeared and went off the air. So of course what we're going to do now is just work on what we're doing with it. Let's bring it around a bit. I only want a slight bit of movement. <coughs> the nice thing is with straighteners you can really sort of get a nice finish. But also maintain that nice little bend that's in there as well. Just bring it around. You can see a few natural highlights. Don't be fooled folks. It's actually blonde hair that's in there tonight. A reflection of light from the window. Which of course is coming off the mirror from the lights above. So can round, just really see as I'm just pulling this round. It just gives it a really nice sort of finish and then we can just get that a little bit straighter, which is perfect. Let's just come around the other side. And then what I'm going to do is come back in, do some scissor over combing for you in a minute, classic scissor over combing. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with the clippers and then thin the top out afterwards. We'll come back in then with muck lacquer hairspray to hold the front and then work the magic through the sides which again is very important so let's just use some uh, product now just very quickly we'll just uh, hold the front up with muck hair lacquer so at this point this just allows us to just manipulate the front 
and that just holds everything in quite nicely while we're working. Okay, so again, the choice of scissors is very, very important when we're doing scissor over combing because you need to have a pair of scissors you feel very comfortable with. You also have to think about your well-being as well, which you have to think about sitting down, making sure your back's straight and you're able to look at what you're doing, i.e. if you're standing above a guest and looking down, it's going to be quite difficult to be able to do that. So again, it's important if you have a stool, a chair, sit down. I'll state this when I'm, when I'm teaching people in salons. Always think about your well-being as you get older. Obviously, we have to think about our backs as hairdressers, very important, and our feet, and also our hands, how we're working. So bear that in mind if you're standing, scissor over comb, try and think about sitting down looking after yourself because it's very important to think about you. You become number one, which then makes the customer become number one. Okay, so we're now into my favourite part of the haircut, what I absolutely love. As you can see, I've got a great, a really great canvas to work here. So, we're working with the wider part of the comb first and then going with the thinner part of the comb after. And then it's really keeping the scissors moving. The idea is the comb goes in and the scissors keep moving. And you have to imagine an imaginary line somewhere around the occipital bone working through there and then what you'll do is blend that out then that allows the clippers to go in and make the haircut really clean. We'll then come back with thinning scissors, take a bit more out through the top, do the eyebrows, sideburns and that should then give us a really pristine haircut. Alright? But you never had your haircut talk through so much have you? No. There you go you see. Alright, let's make it look really sharp now, it's got to look really perfect. You imagine how many people on prom will be looking at this. I think I've got to look at this on Sunday. I'll be trailing behind you while you've gone in front. And there's dust <laughs> left behind. So, as you can see, I'm now working up towards where that imaginary line is so I can keep that line really clean on there. Hopefully, we've got some more people joining us on part two, which uh, Lucy will, uh, or, or Tracy. Maria Constantino, shout out to my daughter, Katarina Ellis, who met you at the Scott in college. Maria Costin, what is it? Constantino. Constantino. Big good evening to Maria, uh, big good evening to your daughter tonight who I saw at the college. That must have been a few weeks ago when I was doing a show there. So big good evening to you both. I hope you're both very well and nice of you to join us live tonight from the salon. Do we have any more? Paul King. Paul King, Kingy. Good to see you with us tonight all the way from Essex. We met Paul when we went over to... Uh, Bagal, the first time. Okay, let's have a quick look. Let's see what we've got on tonight then. So, we've got... Hi. Uh, here. Uh, that's it. Kerry Southam. Hi. Oh, good evening. Kerry Southam. Good to see you with us. Uh, AK. Great to see you with us from the Spartans tonight. Also, Charlie Brooks, everybody. Woo-hoo! Woo Charlie Brooks. Charlie Brooks. David Betworth. Let's have some... Woo-hoo! Also, Lauren Waters. Uh, is everybody's phone safe? Everybody's phone, yeah, Tracy, yeah, where's yeah, your phone? Where's your phone? phone yeah. Everybody's, phone, everybody's phone's safe, don't worry, Lauren. Um, also, Stephanie Bamford, nice to see you with us tonight. And also, Josh Brown, <laughs> literally, good to see you with us. Uh, Ross, great to see you, you'll be loving this technique. Remember, clean lines, clean look. That's the motto you need to remember for Sunday, I expect you to remember it. Uh, Jules Turnville, nice to see you with us also. The lady I did in the car park at... Uh, Bradgate Park, the hair that is, I did your hair up, I remember. That just didn't sound right, but I know exactly what I'm thinking. As hairdressers, think about, I did your hair in the car park, I remember, hair up. They've been killing themselves now, all over the world. This is what hairdressing is like, and there's no script, it's like. Um, ben Lavender, good to see you with us. Lucy Shepherd, it's always a pleasure to see you with us. You are a celebrity. Thank you so much for having us with us. Anyway, in the meantime, let's move on with the call. <laughs> so, we're now going to move around to the next part. <laughs> This time make you laugh. It's all in some banter. You know, I'll take some stick. Oh yeah, there's one more, there's one more thing I need to announce, which is really important tonight. Um, we need to say a big good evening to the jam. Everybody in the jam tonight, big good evening also. I know they'll all be watching. So let's just move in now so you can see the cut. Let's get back down to business. So we need to be making sure that um, Ant's hair looks really good. For the Thunderbirds, of course. Yeah. Oh, the sex panthers, mate. Oh, yeah, sorry. Big good evening to the sex panthers. Let's get it right. The sex panthers, I don't know why I said Thunderbirds. It's probably because I was thinking that 
when I sit like this, I look, feel like a puppet while I'm cutting my arms. <laughs> <laughs> Cash, okay. Baines. Cash Baines, good evening to see you tonight. Good to see you, Cash, with us. Good evening, bro. Hope you're okay. Let's see if Mrs. Bale will give you a quick wave over here. It's Mrs. Bale. There she is, look. It's all good on shooting with you, bro. Jace. Sucky will probably be on there watching as well. Good to see you. This is what I do to your hair. I'll cut you out. This is a typical technique you'll be watching now from a 360 view from the back. <laughs> So anyway, the very important thing is when you're working with thick hair, you can really see you've got to really, really work at this and just keep it clean and tidy as you're doing it. So the idea is obviously we can come into this at any point with a pair of clippers and uh, blend it through. So again, it's really important to sort of think where you're going to make sure that the cut looks perfect. Again, we'll take photos of Ant later um, and showcase the cut and the products. We'll go through the products again that we later but again in the meantime you can see we'll work yes excellent back on me okay. yeah sorry we uh, lost you for a moment there <clears throat> we thought we were on talk talk but don't go away for a second we are we are live we are broadcasting if it goes down just uh, bear with us we'll reset the phone and we'll come back on it has been fantastic since rob smith has worked his magic on it so thanks again rob smith so don't worry we've not gone anywhere since you last with us we're still going around the ears and Tracy's still coughing in the corner. Don't worry, we're still, we're still, we're all still here. Everybody's still here. Ant's still got an ear, it's fine. Everybody's still there. I've still got my phone. Don't worry, you still got your phone. Yeah. Excellent. It's good stuff. I'll be putting this, I'll be putting this down later and really laughing like when we're in Portugal and we did the cut there, it was hilarious. So you can see now we're just working away again, blending all the um all the natural blonde highlights through. This is a great way to disguise all of that when you do this technique. The difference between scissor over comb and clipper cutting is, clipper cutting lasts about two weeks because it's such a sharp technique and it looks really sharp when it's done. Yes. Scissor over combing lasts probably a week longer because you can actually alter the pitch of the angle with your scissors and with the comb. So it becomes more softer or you can make it more sharper. So generally you will get an extra week of uh, wear out of the haircut. So a lot of people tend to opt for scissor over comb because it just lasts that little bit longer. And then you generally come in at the bottom, which I will do so with the thinning scissors uh, later and the clippers. But as I say, it's good because if you clip a cut a lot, it's good to challenge yourself with a pair of scissors like this because again, like when we're on holiday recently, I'll just take a pair of scissors with me and a comb and it's good just to keep your skill set up. Again, training is really important. People ask me the question, how often do you train? You train a lot because if you don't train, you don't keep up your skill set. And again, practice makes perfect, as with all things, including going to the gym and everything else. It's all about practice. Pull-ups. Pull-ups, which of course Ant's reminding me. I'm doing that at the moment, which of course I've got another few weeks to go yet. So we'll see how we go with that one. I'm sure the practice will make it perfect. So let's come round to the other side now. We can see where we're going. Let's just come over to this side. Just need to spin you around, then Dad can get the film so we don't lose the connection. So now we're on the other side. This is where you've got to make sure you watch the ear with the uh, shank of the blade. That's that part there on the middle. So we're now coming through. You can really see just driving that scissor in there. You're just not got to be scared of cutting hair with it. So again, anybody who's watching this that is unsure about scissor over combing, uh, take it back to the beginning, rewind the, the, uh, the video and watch it again and then you'll be able to um, have a look and see about scissor over combing. I was fortunate that I was able to be taught uh, classic 1950s scissor over comb, which is what we're doing now, many years ago, back in the 90s, which of course has stayed with me all through my career. And it's just nice just to be able to sort of showcase this for you tonight. It's just keeping the rhythm going on the scissors, really. That's the secret of this and making sure that your hand's smooth as it opens and closes on the blades, which, again, just keeps everything really, really smooth. As you can see, we've got some really nice shape coming through now and it's looking really spot on. I think they're giving you some abuse, my friend, by the sounds of it. Over there, I hear the word collie mentioned. Nobody ever calls you that. They always uh, they call you Colin. I never, I never hear it. I normally just hear Ant or the great AC. That's it. Uh, all I get called is Scott. 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 Or oh, Scotty. It started Scotty in the jam, then it stopped. At least you're not like uh, some salespeople who get on the telephone, they ring up and say, Can I speak to Scotty boy? And you think, Oh, okay, who's that? 
So you can see now we're just taking this bottom out, just there, which cleans up around the perimeter edge. This will be quite interesting for you, um, Amp, when you watch this, when you watch it back. It must be quite interesting to see your own hair being cut. Mm. See how it grows, now everything sits. Hopefully, your mother's watching. Hi, Mum. Love from Spain. I'm hoping she's on. If not, she'll watch it on a pre record, no doubt. And is it Hola, Hola Julie, is it? What's, what's the lady's name? <laughs> My mum's name's Nieves. Okay, Nieves, and what, what's the friend's name? Jose Luis. Jose Luis, that's it, it's not Hola Julie. That's what I thought it was Hola Julie. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see I'm really bad with names. I'll be calling you George next. Watch yourself. <laughs> that's it, you'll probably be calling me something later. So, yeah, so. Big to the Spartans if they're watching also tonight. Uh, they're looking forward to Sunday. I don't quite know what Jez is doing this Sunday. It's unannounced, it's to be confirmed. Mm -hmm. So that should be quite interesting to see what we're doing up at Saxon Fitness. I'm guessing Nick McCaffrey's watching at some point live from Germany and Sharon, I'm guessing they're on as well because I've not had their names put in front of me tonight. So I'm guessing they'll be on there. So good evening and Dan Metcalf, I'm guessing that he's on there as well which would be nice. So we're just going in a little bit closer and tighter with the smaller part of the comb so you can really see just how tight it's going in. So good just looking at my younger brother, my dad. Quick, put, put the camera on yourself in the mirror there. Let's, let's see on there, cause, uh, so, so everybody can see you. That's it, Charlotte. Give, give Charlotte a wave, because she likes you to give her a little wave. Charlotte, give her a little wave, that's it. She'll say, wave in, wave. That's it, there you go. Just so you're not left out. And then also, be good evening to Brad. He's watching it also tonight, I'm guessing Brad, godson. I should say our godson um, on there. Captain of the Spartans, he'll be watching also tonight. So you can really see now, we're going in a bit tighter with the comb, it just keeps everything clean again. It's really important to keep the cut clean because you don't know what you're gonna take off with clippers or without. But you can sort of see where we're going now. Again, remember the top half of the haircut will be done later. But on this part, it's really important because now we've got a real strong cut, which is what I wanted to see. The rest I'll cheat with a pair of clippers on the bottom. When I say cheat, um, when I did a toning guy exam uh, right back in the early 90s, we had to do all this with a blade on the neck. They gave us something like four hours to do a man's cut and blow dry, and you had to physically get in there and take it all off the neck. But for the purpose of the recording tonight, We'll do it all with clippers and make it all nice and uh, quick so people are not away from their children or the Leicester game or the omnibus edition of Coronation Street. Okay, thinning scissors now. We need to get this rolling so we can see what's happening. We've got some more names. Let's see if we've got some names that protect uh, the innocent that are on there. Uh, also, big good evening tonight to Dan Tranto at... Uh, DT Performance Cars, I know I'll be watching, we're gonna do a live feed from there very shortly. Let's have a look at some more names we've got. Sasha Holden, nice to see you with us tonight. Lynn Marie Atkinson, great to see you on there. Matt Gavin, good to see you with us tonight. Matt Gavin, a great plumber in town. And Solly, also nice to see Solly also tonight on there as well. Good to see you. Thank you for staying with us. So we're now using thinning scissors. What this is doing is practically going through the curl and starting to now blend everything that's coming up towards the Jez recession back. line, which is on there. Jenny's back on. Jenny. Jez. Oh, Je Jez is back on, everybody. Big hand, big hand for Jez. Woo! Woo! That's, that's Jez Saxon, best trainer in town. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a quick hand, Ant, to, to Saxon. Oh, no. Put his hand up. Oh, no, he can't, he can't lift no. his hand up tonight, Jez. You've done him. You smashed him up. If it, if it, yeah, we're alive. I don't want to do Sarah it. Sarah Reeves. <laughs> Sarah Reeves on there tonight. Big good evening, Sarah. Oh, we've got more hooters going by tonight on there. It's <laughs> all good stuff. Let's just come around to this other side. Bring you around. That's it. Sarah Reeves, nice to have you with us. I know I'm crazy. You keep writing, I'm a crazy guy. But, you know, it's all about taking risks. And, uh, yeah, I like taking risks. And, uh, sort of showcasing everything Nick with people. McCaffrey. What's going on? Mick, Nick McCaffrey. Great to see you. Hope you're okay, Nick. Good to see you, bro. Hope you're all right. Um, Sharon as well. Good evening. I hope you're well. See you soon with Dan. So now just cleaning it off. This is what I do with your hair, Nick, funny enough. Michelle Smith. Michelle Smith. Nice to see you with us also tonight. It's all good. It's all good. All good. Is it, is it Katie Granger? Yeah. Katie. Nice to see Katie Granger there all the way from Lutterworth. Uh, hopefully you're with uh, your mum, your dad, maybe. If you're with your boyfriend, good evening, nice to see you. 
on there live from Lutterworth tonight. Coming from all over the world, it's good. So now you can just see we're just cleaning everything up now just a little bit more. We've got some natural blonde highlights to get through on this just to make sure everything sits nice. Everybody, as everybody knows, when you're cutting uh, through grey <coughs> grey hair, it's it. Yeah, that's it. Cough a bit louder there, Tracy. I know, just saying, because it's grey, cough, <coughs> natural highlights. Um, it's quite hard to cut through that, so you just have to make sure that everything just sits nice. So we can now see the blend coming between the two. Remember, we'll go through the top last. Buster Dalton. Buster Dalton, good to see you with us. You're on this morning. Uh, looking forward to seeing you Friday. So uh, really good to see you. This again, this is how I'll do your hair. So this will be uh, quite familiar, especially the next part with the clippers. So let's get into the neck, into the nape. We'll work that between that and the lower occipital bone. So let's just uh, get a pair of clippers. And then what we'll do is showcase clipper cutting through the back and sides and then we'll go through to the top to do the finale and then the eyebrows. So look at our pair of clippers. What we have to work is open blade, closed blade. So we start with the open blade. We'll be using a number two first just to play it safe. Looking at the hair again, I'm looking at where my invisible line is where I was working to earlier. I wanted to drop the number two about here. Then we'll go two, one and a half, one, zero, and straight in so it'll give us a nice perfect fade so remember keep it flat think about where that line is and then it's the same principle as the scissors fading it off that line just to make sure that everything just sits nice and perfect what we do then is we just drop it into a closed blade which is then number two take it a little bit lower which then gives us even more of a look towards that part we can see there we're just now going to a number one which will change to a one and a half so it's open blade, one and a half. Take it in, you can see now I'm just taking a bit more out. It's got to be nice and gentle, because a lot of thick air to get through. Which again is great, because thick air really showcases this cut off nicely. So again, we're just in there. I can take this to anywhere I want to, because we've already got the graduation that we did earlier. So now I'll close it to one. Take it a little bit more. And then what we do then is drop it into the half on an open blade. Now remember, you're looking for two things on this. It's a two-dimensional haircut. You're looking for a clean line all the way down, and you're also looking for the colour change, which is the most important part. And this is the important one. It goes closed blade. We are literally on the skin now. So this is what you call a skin fade, because you are fading it off the skin. So if you take it too high, all you'll get is a step. And of course, it's important to get that blend perfect. Now hopefully, Dad will pick that up and we'll be able to see that fade absolutely perfect from the skin all the way out to absolutely um, the hair as it is. Now I've got to go all the way around the haircut and you'll see this now, this fade off, which will look really good. I might just carve in the back there, Sex Panthers for you. So you can sort of see that in there. The funny thing is, I can do that. <laughs> I used to put night ticks in, spiders webs, all sorts of things. But again, it's now just, we'll go around the haircut and we'll do exactly the same as what we've just done and that's basically the principle of classic clipper cutting meets scissor over combing so by the time we finish we'll get a real nice fade in lucy's not said anything yet about that piece i've faded out in the neck so i'm guessing she's probably not impressed over there or maybe she's looking at names that are coming up on the phone and i was hoping she'd say oh that looks all right or oh, yeah. Sorry, she's concentrating. She's busy, yeah. that's, that's what ladies do best. But they can multitask on a lot of things as a man just concentrates on one thing. <coughs> so here we go. That's Oh, the cough's coming over. The cough's coming over. <laughs> Tracy's cough's coming over. Dad's got it now. <laughs> that's it. Everybody will start coughing in a minute. That's it. We'll all be sitting here with dental masks on in a minute. <coughs> oh, we love you really, Trace. It's a lot of cough, <laughs> That's it. Cough cat's my ex boss. When I used to cut hair, he used to walk in the room and start going, <coughs> <coughs> so I used to do all the time. <laughs> he might be watching. Honest, uh, you know, I know you were trying to clear your throat. <laughs> That's what I do myself sometimes when I talk a lot. Of course, I don't talk a lot at all. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Maybe when I'm the narrator. <laughs> I see Glenda's coughing there. That's, uh, <laughs> when you're narrating as well, it's, uh, well, it just proves you can multitask as a man, really. That's what it's all about. So now we're on one and a half and we're doing a nice fade up to what we've got. Again, this has got to look perfect because we know the lavenders will be looking at this, at the new plow in. And also we know that all of Anthony's friends will be watching as well as 
all the Sex Panthers and all of the uh, Promal Conditioning crew will be. It's looking. funny, all my friends said just shave it all off or uh, put a Moeek in it. But what will that achieve, my yeah, friend? What yeah. will that achieve when you can? I think I think I think Darren offered you a thousand pounds as well just to shave down the middle, didn't he? He did. That's right. Yeah. I, I decided I was going to do that with a blindfold on just to make it even more interesting. But then I decided that I valued your friendship more, so Thanks, I wanted mate. to. Nice. That's all right, mate. No problem. So I thought that's really what I wanted to sort of preserve. <laughs> That's what the idea was. So we're now coming through to the sides, we can really see what we're going with. Also wanted the challenge of being able to uh, cut your hair and really do a nice job of it and get a nice fade on it. So then uh, at least I could uh, be remembered for doing a nice fade rather than taking the middle out, looking like Simon Says, game or something. <laughs> now that's a cross. So you can see now we're just coming through the sides. Again, it, it helps to angle the blade slightly as you're doing it because it helps you on your graduation. On the tip, always remember that you've got your ear to con consider, so you've just got to really just move that out. Just go around the area. We're looking at colour change, we're working with natural highlights, everything that we're on is on there. Jeff Storer. Jeff Storer, great to see you. I know you were with us earlier on tonight. Uh, this is how I used to do your hair when I used to take it a lot tighter in the sides. It's a similar sort of thing. It's just making sure that all the lines fade nicely. I'm expecting a photo on Saturday night. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, so you can send me a picture of what your hair looks like. I'm sure uh, it will be good. But nice to see you earlier. That was my last guest tonight and before you came in, so nice that he's joined us tonight. Busy working man as well, as uh, a lot of people are. So you can see now we're just sort of going in there, keeping everything clean and tidy. So that's the first side. We'll put the thinning scissors in there and blend that in. Um, later, but now we're just going to come through to the second side. Don't worry, you can be reassured there's hair still on there. That's good, mate. It's on there, mate. It's getting there. Right, so now we're just going to go back into the open blade. Dad used to have to sit there when I was learning haircuts. He was the guinea pig in the garden. <laughs> it's quite a <laughs> rhyming sort of name, isn't it? Guinea pig in the garden. Do you remember that, Dad? No, I do. <laughs> well, I used to cut your hair when I was practicing. I was at Remy's then, back in the 80s. I saw you had brush back. You didn't really have an awful lot. It was curly hair or it was brush back, but you had this really horrible gel to use, but now we've got fantastic products like these muck products that we're using tonight, which are uh, humidity resistant and work really, really well. So you can now see as I'm coming in with the clippers, going on the closed blade, just takes it even tighter. Again, we're looking, as I say, we're looking for color change. That's what we're looking for, that everything just blends in really really nicely just to make sure that everything just looks really nice then we're going to and a closed blade now we're going into the skin fade into the neck again it's important just to get the t-shirt line 